Yo, what is up guys? Most of the costly back here on DCL first video of 2022 And I am super excited to kick this year off strong get some videos put out for you guys uh, start doing some reviews again and get my YouTube channel back into a Even mild pulse, you know um, Some of the stuff I'll be posting is just gonna be stream highlights and stuff like that because I am streaming every night um, over at twitch.tv forward slash mostly costly um, but I figured why not a better or a great way to kick off 2022 would be to do a DCL wish list so uh, every Wednesday of January now I'm recording this on Wednesday it was supposed to come out this morning but I didn't get a chance to record it till now so it's gonna come out Thursday morning but every other version of this will be coming out um, every Wednesday throughout January and we're gonna have four videos and it's going to be reworks today and I'm gonna talk about the goals of where I want my account to be by the end of the year and we'll see where at the end of the year we'll check and see where my accounts at um, see if I've hit any of my goals uh, and then uh, next week we'll be going over the new tunes that I would like the top 10 new tunes I would like um, and then the Wednesday after that we'll be going over skins and then the Wednesday after that we'll be going over updates that I would like to see in the game um, That'll probably be the biggest video because I'm probably gonna explain a little more in depth because like we're gonna do reworks today I might go over on a few of these what I think they could do But I'm not I haven't like thought out kits or nothing like that. It's really kind of off the cuff, you know So we'll be doing that um, And then I'll be posting a lot more um, like I said, some of it might be stream highlights, but um, we'll definitely be getting more out. And sorry if my chair is a little squeaky, but let's go ahead and jump right into this with my first rework that I would love to see. And you'll see I already got an RB5. I would love a Batman Beyond rework. Now, the reason why is if we look here, he is at the bottom end of my RB5s. Not the lowest of my RB5s, but he is at the bottom end. That kind of puts him lower on power a little bit. I mean, Mr. Freeze did just get reworked recently, and he's only 300 power more than uh, than Terry. But just a little bit of a bump up would be nice. And some of the stuff, if I went to look through his kit real quick, some of the stuff I might do, I think his, his basic's pretty good. Um, maybe up the chances a little bit. You know, like basically make it to where if he's invisible, it's a hundred percent chance, um, and then just make it like make it like fifty percent chance if not invisible, a hundred percent if he is invisible. You know, um, stealth mode I think is in a pretty good spot. Um, I think maybe a few more evasion ups would help, uh, especially with like people like Wonder Girl out there that are just going to whip right through all that stuff. Um, or even maybe you could do something like uh, like damage immune or something. Uh, that wouldn't really make sense with the stealth mode, but it'd be cool. Um, okay, so with this one, um, I I feel like this is pretty decent, but it would be cool if it was like a guaranteed crit. Um, And then this is the one that I think could use a little bit of a buff up. Um, so 40% chance isn't bad. I would like to see it like it'd be cool if it was like more like 60%. And let's say five to six hit chance downs. Um, and then beyond that, um, I, I think this is fine. Um, so beyond that, I think he's in a pretty good spot. It's like very little minor tweaks I would do. Um, now next up, Wonder Woman, Princess of Themyscira. Okay, so now she, on the other hand, really needs the buff up in power. As you can see, she's not even 10K at RB5. Okay, and then on top of that, if we actually jump in here, um, most of her kit's actually still pretty decent. Some of the stuff I would change is like on her leader ability. At the end of the turn, Fury of Zeus if no allies have debuffs, um, or Power of Truth if all allies have a debuff. I would change that from being if all allies have a debuff to if any allies have a debuff. You know, and 
that way, because she does right now, she'll run into a problem more like she just won't do anything at the end of her turn because she doesn't meet either of the requirements. Where, um, so if you look at this, purge nine debuffs from self, purge four debuffs, and apply 10% turn meter up to all allies. So the turn meter up is nice. Now, here's the problem. In order for her to do this ability off of the end of her turn with her leader, everybody has to have a debuff, including her. She's purging nine and only four off of her, um, nine off of herself and four off of everybody else. So eventually, she's naturally going to run into a spot where she no longer has debuffs, but her team does, and now she doesn't do it. Um, so that's kind of the annoying part. Um, beyond that... Um, I might up the, uh, the counterattack chance. And beyond that, I think she's in a pretty good spot. She just needs that, that, uh, little bit of a buff up. And, and that's about it. Now, moving on. Actually, I'm not going to type it out because then that makes it too. Let's go ahead and do this. Next one on the list, we're going to go, uh, Mystical Earthling Female Hero. That's right, we're going to jump in here, and Zatanna. Zatanna definitely needs a rework. Um, she's been needing it very badly. Um, like, she does decent stuff, but it's just like, like, look at her heal ability. Heavy heal and purge two debuffs from all allies. 50% true heal to all allies. Does this not feel completely outdated, right? Um, in where the game's at now. Now, special damage and always purge six buffs from an enemy. Apply four intelligence stats. Not the worst, not the best. Um, there's definitely better versions, especially when you have people like Spectre out there just purging entire buff stacks. You know, um, see, that's a only a 43% chance. Like this is how you can tell if like a champion that hasn't been touched since, or a tune that hasn't been touched since they were introduced into the game. A 43% chance to apply one intelligence down on enemies that damage the Tana. Are you kidding me? This might as well not be a passive. You know, um, apply one extra intelligence down on enemies that damage. Yeah, like, so two in, two in downs on people that hit her. Come on. We can do better than that. All right. Moving on. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to switch over to physical realm. We're going to stay with Earthling. We're going to switch to male and stay with heroes. Um, so this one, I'm thinking EAGA. All right, now this this may just be like a little bit of like a um, a stat bump, right? Now he's pretty decent. Um, the agility downs are nice, and he has a fifty percent chance to strike twice, right? I would do some sort of a conditional thing where it's like he has he strikes twice if there are three agility downs, whatever you know, kind of make it make it an interesting thing. Um. I think overall he's not actually in the worst spot. Um, as you can see here, the team leader is pretty decent. All allies apply three agility downs and 13% uh, turn meter if they deal a critical hit to an enemy. Apply an equal number of strength downs on critical hits. So it kind of sucks that he relies on crits, but um, he hasn't been used in a while by a lot of people. But he. He just deserves a little bit of a resurgence. They could do some interesting stuff with him. Alright. Um, I keep going to, to type like I'm going to type it. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Alright. Next up. It feels like I'm just running down the normal list, right, of everybody that needs to be done. But Cyborg. Cyborg hasn't been touched in quite a while. This would be awesome if they did something with him. You know, bring him, bring him up in, uh, in power and... Maybe he switches AI so he doesn't do this in the wrong way, or just actually make it like worth doing. You know, um, make his abilities work really well. Um, he's just he takes too long to get ramped up before he starts really doing anything. He used to be a beast back in the day. I remember people used to do Cyborg all the time. He was a good way of being able to take out Harley and Batgirl. Um, and I just you hardly ever see this guy anywhere anymore which is just obviously 
he needs a rework. Staying in the energy faction, we're just going to go ahead and switch to alien and villain. I think Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf could use a little bit of love. Um, he's kind of fallen by the wayside. He has a problem of giving way, way too many buffs out. Um, and so it ends up being a problem like against Wonder Girl teams with like no protection for his team. Um, and he just kind of has fallen out of the meta. He used to be extremely meta, but he's fallen so far out now just because of he, he answers Harley and that's it, but nothing that's around Harley. So maybe like, you know, just a little bit of things tweaked here and there, and he might be able to really come back into the meta a little bit. Not completely, but maybe into a, into like a corner or something. Moving on, we are going to move over to straight down the, that column. Okay, Orm. Orm. Now, Orm, I actually think is pretty decent with his kit. Um... He probably just needs a little bit of a bump, right? Like, it's been so long since I've used him, but um, I remember not hitting him, but um, he just needed, like, something a little bit more. He wasn't quite at the level of, like, where our tunes are today, right? Um... Yeah, I don't like. I don't know his kit in and out well enough to be like, here's what I think they should do. But um, I know that he he's decent. But I'd like to see him up here at the same level as like Aquaman and the others, the other fish people, you know. Um, all right, and moving on. This man needs justice. For what they did to him back in the day. They gave Deathstroke his justice. They gave um, Lobo his justice. Can we please get some justice for Dr. Fate? Alright. He um, he definitely needs it. I don't think he's... like I think he has a niche kit. Like I think it's pretty interesting. Um, and I've seen him do some crazy stuff. But most of the time... He doesn't really do anything anymore, and you never really see him brought to any fight. Um, I see him, like, in bot teams, or is he even in bot teams? I see him every once in a while, like, on on different on different stuff. I don't know where, but for the most part, he's not, not scary, and he should be, you know, so. Moving on to the next one. We're going to go to physical... Earthling male villain. Another character that used to be so oppressive back in the day, and everybody was using them, and now seems to not be anywhere. Bane. I would love to see Bane get some get some play. Um, be some pretty interesting stuff to really. I mean, he naturally like he ramps pretty well, but um, he just. He doesn't put out the damage there anymore, it feels like. And I've I've seen him nowhere in a long time. And so getting getting him back into the mix would be really nice. Um, I know he works well with like Enchantress teams and such, but in in today's meta he just doesn't really have a place. So it'd be really interesting to see um, him get reworked. And on to the final one. We're going to go back to Mystics. We're going to go to Earthling, Female Hero, Raven. Just probably giving her like a little bit more health, you know, um, a little more defense would be nice because she is pretty squishy. And then it kind of sucks that she relies completely on debuffs. Um be really interesting to see just a different direction with the kit um, would be interesting just 
I mean, I like the the Harley counter, except for she's the wrong. She's the wrong affinity. I do like the you know. This ability uh, can't miss purge ten bus if the target has evasion up. That's really nice. Um, but most of the time, you don't get around to return because she dies to like a, a red AOE or something, you know, going on. And so, you know, either giving her a little protection right off the bat or something would be interesting. Um, I think they could really do something interesting with Raven. So that's all the reworks that I'm really wanting. Um, I mean, of course, there, there's some other ones probably that I could think of if you let me sit down and give me a longer list. But, um, but yeah, that's the reworks I'm thinking of. So now the goals for my account, what I would like to get done by the end of 2022. Okay. Why? No. Why am I? Okay, there we go. Um, so some of the stuff, I want to get Nightwing to RB5, right? I want to finish that off. Um, now, Azrael is going to go RB5 for sure uh, this year. I just need 10 more crystals. But right now I'm working on Red Robin because of the siege that currently is going on. He's a part of. Um, so some of the things that, before I get into what characters I want to rebirth by the end of the year, one of the things I want to finish on my account is to get caught up to at least um, the end of 2021 on releases of getting everybody L5 level 80. Right? So right now, Batman, Necron, and Garth are all my slow gears. And as you can see, Batman is almost through level 7. Um, he's about halfway to gear 8. And then Garth and Necron are level 72, but they don't have any gear on them yet. So my goal is by the end of 2022 to have everybody that's currently on this list besides Peacemaker and Savitar um, level 80 L5. And so we're not too far off from that. What I've been doing is whenever a character is a bonus tune in Siege, they get brought up to level AB L5. Well, so far, for past like three Sieges, I've had all the bonus tunes and the reworks ready. And so I've been slowly bringing up other ones right now. King Shark is the one I'm working on right now. Because normally I have a rule of like, when the characters come out, they go level 80 L5 anyways for me. The only reason Necron, Garth, and... Um, and Batman weren't is I didn't I did wasn't gonna bring them up, so that's why they didn't get geared out. Um, but King Shark kind of fell through the cracks. He's around here somewhere. Let's see where's he at. Um, yeah, there we go. He's level seventy nine, L five. But um, for the most part, I'm almost I'm I'm getting close to done. Right. So hopefully this should definitely be something I get done by the end of 2022 because like even just on what we have right here in the kind of mixture of the level 80s and 72s mixed in um, we got what five of them that aren't L5 level 80 and the rest all are and then from them on so here we got another 12 so you're looking at 17 so far and then you get another 12 here. So, um, what would that be? Yeah, uh, 29. And then, yeah. So we're looking at about 29 more characters for me to do. That's not too bad. Um, plus the ones coming out throughout the year. Uh, any slow gears that I pick up this year, obviously they'll fall into a different category. But um, that's my big goal is that. Now, as you can see, Joker is still eluding me on the shards that I need for him to get to L5. Um, I don't really ever care to ever use him, but it's going to bug me if he if I don't get enough shards. Now, moving on to my rebirth plans for the year. So this changes month to month, right? Um, somebody I would like to get a lot of shards of in rebirth this year. Batwoman. Batwoman would be great for me to do that with. Um, Catwoman would be another one I wouldn't mind doing. Um, Poison Ivy is another. 
Deathstroke's on my list, but way further down. Um, Artemis. Artemis would be one that I wouldn't mind doing, because I've been doing a lot of Bat characters, so I can swap over to Wonder Woman for a little bit. Um, Batgirl is another one that I would love to take RB5. Um, and maybe I don't get them RB5 by the end of the year, but I at least want to get them into Rebirth and working on it. Same with Batgirl and World's Greatest Detective. Uh, Clayface, I would love to get to RB5. I'm working on it. As you can see, I got 1,200 uh, and 83 fragments right now. Um, Shiva. Shiva, I'm going to buy RB5 at the end of this month when her sale happens. Um, I'm currently working and farming Harley. Um, Talia is kind of... She's lower on the list. Um, as you can see, I'm also working on Bat CC. Robin is another one that I would love to get done. Um, let's see, beyond that, I don't know if there's anybody else really that I'm crazy about wanting to work on. Riddler, maybe eventually, just because I need to get some more villains in here. Uh, Two Face, same with him. Um, Black Mask wouldn't be bad either. And Hippolyta. Hippolyta, Hippolyta and Yara are the other ones that I want to do, and maybe Cersei. Um, and then I want to get uh, Red Robin to RB5 for sure um, Man Bat I would love to finish this year as well but he might have to wait because we're already looking at a lot of crystals there between everything I just said so um, that's a look at my goals as far as my roster um, now as far as my goals <sighs> I don't care enough about Wraith to try and take a Wraith again. I would like to win a showdown, possibly. I wouldn't mind winning a showdown. Um, I don't care to try and win a Blitz. Um, and then I wouldn't mind actually winning Siege once this year. That would be nice. Uh, maybe if we get a character that I really care about, I'll go for it. Um, and But the hard part about that is a lot of it has to do with having the right bonus tunes. And like this Siege in particular, I have the right bonus tunes for... But I've been messing up, and I've been losing quite a bit. So, unfortunately, it hasn't been going well for me. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's probably going to do it. Um, I can't really think of any other uh, goals. I guess some arbitrary goals I can I can put out there. Um, hitting over 100 million green essence. That would be nice. Um... I wouldn't mind hitting a million gems at some point. That would be really cool. Um, we'll see if that happens. And then... Um, hmm, beyond that... I, I, I pretty much have everything else I want in the game. <laughs> so, um, and then we'll get to the new tunes and all that stuff later uh, in future videos. So thank you all uh, for watching. And I will see you guys next week with the next video. And then... I don't know if we're going to put out any videos in January of me doing any reviews on characters. We'll see how that comes around. I might do like a, a mashup of all my siege fights, wins and losses at the end of the month or so. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I will see you guys uh, in the next one on Wednesday. And don't forget to like and subscribe and uh and leave a comment let me know what you think of of my goals my reworks tell me who who do you want reworked who do you guys want reworked um in 2022 all right see y'all later